What are the YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. I'm sparing no time. We're gonna straight into the video. You read the title. We're rebuilding the Los Angeles Lakers. They fucking suck. We're gonna win the championship challenge wise. We're going to win this year and we're going to also retain LeBron and win it the following year. Lock in. I got my hoodie like tightened. I got the hoodie tightened to show that we're locked. Let's GM. We finished the ninth seed. That's how bad the team was. The ninth seed, y'all. Um, hold on. Let's just. So we're going against Dallas. Remember, y'all. If we lose throughout the playoffs, then this video is really over, and I'll just end up talking about the Lakers for the end. We gotta lock the fuck in. This is our championship game right here, y'all. I didn't even know that. Why? Lock in, y'all. Lock the fuck in. Going against Luca. Dejounte has the Luke. Oh yeah, we're out. Wait. Yeah. Damn, I suck, y'all. I suck. That's how, but bro, that's how impossible this team is to rebuild. It feels like at this point, it's like they, this sucks, bro. I don't want to talk about it no more. I feel like I just failed. Did I really just fail? I was talking all that shit. I hate when I talk shit and fail, bro. I'm pissed. I'm pissed, y'all. All right, real shit though, for real, dead ass. We're finna um. This, this, that don't count, bro. Let's 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 try for real, right? Let's try for. All right, listen, y'all. We're gonna make some different adjustments, right? So I am gonna go AD back at center. Um, he can kiss my ass. Um, actually, y'all, let's keep it a bean. Uh, I did that. I really don't even care about 2K. I don't even want to make a 2K video. I kind of lied. If you're still watching this video, let's just talk hoops for a second, right? Um, I don't understand from a basketball perspective how a coach refuses to make adjustments for example memphis was busting their ass of three i'm not a coach y'all but I, I feel like i do a pretty good job of understanding the game of basketball why would you not on any level sit down and the halftime you get fuck it any point of the game and not change the defensive system you're running just for a quarter and realize yo they are shooting the lights out from three why am i letting them getting dribble tween tween step backs from the three they're draining them everyone jaw marcus dez was going stupid Terry was hitting all his spot up shots zaire was hitting corner shots i refuse to make defensive adjustments instead of having my my help defenders in the low blocks and the two wings why am i why am they why are they playing heavy help stay at least stay at least in the gap they're not even in the gap they're in the lanes does that make sense they're not in the gap they're in the driving lanes near the fucking uh restricted area near the block and like i don't understand why they're so far away all sit cam whoever is there right whoever whoever's guarding um braun himself i don't understand why we're not having the different suggestions and saying yo let's run them off the three forcing them to anthony davis who is currently guarding who was AD guarding? Bismack probably was in the game for like some of the fourth quarter until JJ came back in. But like AD's on the person that is least likely to shoot. Why are we not just having him be the defensive player he is and protect the paint at the best level he can? Because if anything, always have to play the numbers, guys. The nigga, you're getting two points, if anything. If anything, they're getting two points. Instead, they're getting six points because Dez just hit a three. Y'all went down, they got some bullshit, didn't get back on defense, and then Dez hit another three. That's six points off the rip. That's six points in less than in less than a minute. That's six points. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't understand how the coach sits there with his pockets in his hands, not making defensive adjustments, just letting things happen. I'm just, he's just letting basketball happen. He's just letting teams shoot it. And people have this, Pete Lakers fans have this like theory. And sometimes I believe in it myself. It's just like, yo, some people get into Staples Center and they shoot the lights off the ball like they've never done it before. I, and to a certain extent, I agree. Like if I saw fucking uh, 
Mark Williams coming to the game and just start taking two threes and he makes two threes. I'm like, oh, this shit is crazy. But instead, I'm watching people who can shoot the ball, proven shooters that can shoot the ball, shoot wide open practice shots. And I'm just like, How, do you really think Marcus Spark has never hit open shots in his career? Do you think he never practices? You don't, do you think he's ever made 23s in a row? These are professional basketball players that they just let shoot the ball. At some point, your statistic box, your analytics box has to go out the window. You have to go straight into, yo, what has actually happened in the game and not go solely based off of analytics. Analytics will never tell the true story because how much of the analytics are you looking at when it comes down to on um, this team where they closing out against this player enough where they leaving this player open. I always use the Minnesota Timberwolves as an example. Minnesota Timberwolves don't let up no threes. You're not going to shoot on them and if you do they're going to close out. I think I watched the possession the other day against the Knicks and 76ers the same day they play the Memphis. I think it was them. It may have been the Clippers or the Pelicans. It's one of those two teams. And I saw the ball was moving around the perimeter, right? It was like someone drove, they kicked out, and the team was genuinely rotating on all threes, closing out, forcing the ball to either be passed again or for the player that gets the ball to have to drive to the paint. That's how you defend stuff. You don't just let NBA players, professional basketball players, shoot the three ball. I don't understand that. Y'all may think differently. Please feel free to explain that to me. I just don't understand how we're okay with letting professional basketball players shoot the three ball for no reason. Um, offensively, I mean, offensively, the, the story tells itself, right? At the end of the day, offensively, they don't have a offense. It's LeBron, please save me, Anthony, Anthony Davis, be great. I get that. At some point, no one else is involved in the play. For example, I like Cam to an extent. Cam has a zero plays ran for him. Austin Reese has zero off ball plays ran for him to get open off a shot three. The only time he's getting an open three is if it's a driving kick from LeBron or Anthony Davis and they just kick it to him. But there's no open, there's no play drawn up for Austin Reed to come off a pin down screen to get an open shot. There's nothing. There's no pin down for LeBron to get an open shot unless he's just getting it on his own. Anthony Davis has to go in the pin and do what he does, but there's, there's just nothing. There's rarely any off ball movement. There's no cuts. You'll see it, you'll see it with like Vando and Cam, they'll try, but they, they not ready. Vando has the smallest hands in the league. He ain't doing nothing with the ball if he gets it. Cam, 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 Cam is Cam. Like Cam ain't, Cam, Cam and Vando are some of the worst people at the rim I've ever seen. It, it's, it's actually ridiculous. And, I, and it's just like, they have no offensive system. But then I'll watch the Clippers, right? I'm watching the fucking Clippers. Now don't get me wrong, they have four Hall of Famers on their team. But I'm watching the Clippers. I'm watching James Harden, Paul George, and Kawhi. I'm seeing Kawhi and Paul George coming off of screens from Daniel Tice hitting open shots. I'm seeing screen actions for Paul George to get open on no dribble shots so he can just catch and shoot. I'm seeing easy basketballs drawn up and, and it is fun to watch. You know what I'm saying? I watch and I'm watching it. I forgot there was another game I'm watching. I think I was watching the Pelicans and the uh, Pelicans and Clippers, and I'm watching the the Pelicans they ask me, but they're still running plays. They're running actual basketball plays. They're not running two sets. They're running different plays every time. Every time they're running different plays, and I'm watching the Lakers, and they run the same sets over and over. This double screen action at the top of the key that leads to genuinely nothing. Majority of the time, it just leads to an ISO possession. But it doesn't lead to any openness. And there's just, it's just, it's just, it's just an abysmal show, and and they're gonna, they're going to miss the playoffs, or they're going to be in the play-in again, and and they're going to lose this year. <laughs> this year is a lot different from last year, unless some injuries happen. Unfortunately, this season is a lot different than last year. A lot of the teams are good in the West. The worst team that's not good is the fucking Warriors. Houston Rockets are a good basketball team. Believe it or believe it not, they'll bust your ass in a playing game. The 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 um Suns are the Suns. The Suns are the Suns. Like, are we sitting in Finnessy or act like the Suns at the Suns? Dallas already busted your ass. I don't think they're in the playing right now, but they'll bust your ass. Clippers will. Clip, they play the Clippers Sunday. 
busting their ass. Like, bro, there's not a team in the West that they, they're they better than at all. Unless you're the Utah Jazz. And we didn't even see them against the Jazz at all. I think maybe once. Bro. I'm just... Whew. Y'all, this team really get me tight. Because you know what gets me tight about this team, for real? What gets me mad about this team is, like, I get to watch... I'm lucky enough to get to watch other basketball teams because I have league pass and stuff like that. So I get to watch some other teams play basketball. Um, and I genuinely enjoy my time watching the Pacers beat the Hawks badly. I, I kind of enjoyed that for like the first two ha first half and a quarter. I was like, wow, they're really doing what they do. They really, they really busting their ass. But then I watched the Lakers and I'm watching the most boring offense that has to get rejuvenated by dunks and, and, and blocks from Anthony Davis or LeBron or a tough shot making from Austin Reeves. But then I'll watch the Clippers and I'm like, yo, James Harden is getting Paul George and Kawhi the most easiest shots ever. Russell Westbrook included, getting them the most easiest shots ever. And it's just like, how is that not possible for every team, including the Lakers? Like, that's it's, it's, it's ridiculous that I have to watch that. But I also understand, like, yo, the pisses I get. The Pistons are terrible, right? I get the Pistons. I get the Raptors. The Raptors have been a bad offensive team for like the since Kawhi left, right? There's been so many reasons, like for some teams to be bad. There's zero reasons for the Lakers to be bad other than bad coaching, like literally. And I genuinely believe, before I get out of here, that if they were to make a coaching change, it would change the whole thing. Like just a different coach, a different voice. Literally, I don't care who the voice is. If they change the voice in the locker room, I promise it'll be changed. For example, I've seen it with the fucking Nets when they fired Steve, Ner Steve Kerr, Steve Nash, that when they brought in Jack Vaughn, the whole vibe of the locker room changed. The whole, everything changed. Everything changed. So, I, d I just don't get what we're going for for the Lakers. I really hope they figure it out before it's too late. Because we're almost at fucking halfway of the season. Like, we're four weeks away from half, from halfway to the season. You know, four weeks. So, we don't have a long time. Trades can only do so much. Um, I'm kind of tired of talking already. Um, I'm tired of watching the Lakers. And I don't even know how I'm going to do this video. This video might not even get posted, honestly. I might just do a fucking... I don't even know. And yeah, that's my little rant, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please feel free to comment any any Laker thoughts you have, right? Like any any things that you that I didn't say that I should have said.